a lot of people might not see the connection of how does that translate into a business strategy growth about growth of, you know this how, how does that help you individually be successful in a particular business well because you are the business your business is going to be a reflection of you and your own mind mm. so if your mind is um chaotic and fearful and anxious <laughs> your business will be have ups and downs it'll your clients or if you're a coach your clients will f be unsatisfied all the time or they'll reflect that yeah or, or you'll, you'll think they're unhappy um you and and, they, they, and it'll be chaotic and uh, and everything that you you believe about yourself will be reflected in the business so you have to understand yourself and the energy you're putting into mm -hmm. you're you're bringing your energy into the business and we've noticed too when we've had different teams over the years and we have such an awesome team now it's like ah we like it it's a nice team but over the years if there was one person who was dissatisfied or one person who was not uh, abundant thinking it would like kind of change the the kind of dynamic of the business even in in our groups there'd be we'd have a great group of, of people and then there would be one person that kind of threw out threw off the the uh the, the, the dynamic <laughs> but they were a reflection of us right. so they like what does that say about us so you look at that like why did that person show up uh what does that say about my mind what is in my shadow that attracted that so i see a lot of people they try to um, create a business and it's almost like a defensive of i got to make sure the right people get in and i got to make sure everything's under control and they don't realize that it's just going to reflect themselves like the work isn't out there the work isn't here it's really understanding and the more clear and and centered you are the more your business will show that and will give back to you and the world will give back to you because you see it as a friendly place you see it as an abundant place you see it as a creative place versus a uh, survival and i think a lot of new entrepreneurs are in that survival mind mm. and that survival mind is the ego mind and the ego mind will create fear frustration anxiety worry and the divine mind that's always there but the ego has eclipsed it uh when you allow it to do the shadow work and and you step into that higher mind the divine mm. woman comes out uh that archetype uh, that's unconscious that that's universal not personal you were able to tap into the deeper forces of of the soul and um and really bring something amazing and i see people maybe not necessarily do shadow work but in a way they do uh work like uh, for example sarah blakely she worked with a lot of co she had life coaches um too actually while she was building her billion do billion dollar uh empire but she started out in the beginning and i love hearing her story so if you ever find her she's the one who discovered Spanx and all the, the you know things she had to do at the beginning but she knew that the most important thing she said was working with my mind most important and so if she can if she that's what she says i'm saying and i agree because anytime we were i would get caught up in the marketing i'd say oh let's you know i'd see someone have this like cool tactic i'd let's try that or let's try this and i'd forget that it's not the tactic i would get lost in it and and externalize my results and then as soon as i realized oh it's something in me how, where do i need to shift and i would make a shift in myself and then everything started to flow again i was like, oh it's kind of easier this way when right. you're when you are the source when you are you know that you have the power to shift the direction of your company, shift the direction of the yeah. money coming in, shift the people in your life. It's so powerful. And, and that is specialized knowledge because uh, a working person does not think that way. Mm -hmm. right? This is a different perspective on what is money, what is success, what is work. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to kind of go through a shift in, in the way you see yourself, uh, how you're spending your work energy 